Hello. Hello. How are you this evening? Good. Hungry. Just as well. I'm going to cook something. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what is it? It's quite a luxurious, quite a luxurious, very simple salad. I'm giving a Lidl's half a fancy deluxe deep sea scallops a go. These were frozen. I have defrosted them in the fridge overnight. Um, they're about five pounds odd, and if I'm being honest, they look pretty darn good. Nice plump. They're rollless, so if you don't like the roll, that's perfect. Uh, I've got some pancetta. I've got some salad leaves, which are on the turn because I bought them in Marquis for eighty-eight pence. Um, I've got some apple butter, that was made by our good friend Susan Chapman, and some chilli and apple jelly, also made by Susan, and some black pudding. Some asparagus, quite easy. So, first thing I'm going to do, cold pan, pancetta. Why a cold pan? Because I want the fat to leak out of it first, before mm. it goes crispy. So cold pan, Turn it up full and uh, get a drink while you wait. So, luxurious salad. I need to have something luxurious to go with it. And tonight I'm having a Posh Tramp's favourite drink, Strongbow Rosé. <laughs> Half a fancy, my lady. I might even pour it in a glass. Ooh. Wrong glass, though. Survivals. Yes, well, you know, to be fair, crappy cooking is neutral, so fancy strong rosy in a cup of our glass. So yeah, we'll come back when that's neither to be and done. That'll take about five minutes. Oh. So when the pan gets up the temperature, I see all the fat coming out, which is good. I'm gonna use this. I'm going to turn it down just so it doesn't burn on the outside. Turn it down to a sort of high to medium heat. So just continue to cook that a little bit longer. And uh, while you're doing that, you can prepare your asparagus. So, a lot of you will probably have known, but asparagus has got a breaking point. Plus, do we all? Um, sort of bend it and it'll break in the right place. That's just to separate the, the, the end of us and the asparagus tip can be quite woody. So do that. If you want you can break them into smaller bits. I will do that. I'm just gonna snap them off and put it's nothing nothing too fancy. I've got a separate bowl here that I'm gonna put the bacon in. And the asparagus. You can hear, when you're cooking, you use your ears as well as your eyes and your nose, your mouth, head, shoulders, knees, toes. So there we go, the bacon's crispy-ish, but we don't want it to be dry and tough and chewy. But we've got a nice bit of fat there, so we're going to get the asparagus in. We'll give them a two, three minutes and we'll come back. That's been literally two minutes. I'm just giving it a shake about on the pan. And uh, so, got this apple butter. Uh, ask Susan for the recipe. Just going to take a spoonful of that. That is really nice. And some olive oil. Couple of spoons of that. want it in there so you can put lemon juice or whatever. But this is kind of for our dressing so I'm going to take that off the heat. And get all that fat in there because that will contribute to this dressing and get your black pudding in. So I've cut the plastic but I'm going to leave the plastic on at this stage. Is that so the holder shape? Just so the holder shape, and because I can't be arsed peeling them off at the moment. To be honest. 
So again, this medium to high heat. Put that to one side. Add, you know, chances are, when you get fresh scallops, they're going to be salty enough. So you don't want to put too much salt in them. So I'm going to put pepper over them. Good bit of pepper. I'm not going to season them. Uh, so look at this. Yeah. It's got a salt glaze on it. So that'll kind of season them a little bit. Anyway, that'll take about a minute either side. And uh, put bowls into the oven just to warm up ever so slightly. And uh, yeah. We'll do about five minutes after this. So after a minute, cooking on one side, grab a pallet knife, not a wooden pallet knife, just a metal pallet knife. Flip them over, you should always flip them away from yourself, unlike what I just did there. A good black pudding, this isn't bad black pudding, but good black pudding should have nice lumps of fat in it. You'd want to use store anyway, obviously. Um, so give that a minute, and keep it on that medium heat, then you want to Pick your plastic off. So pick your plastic off while I'm off camera. And the next thing is just to cook the, the scallops, get it plated up, and get it in my belly. So after a minute, what could an ass? And then, if you want, you can wipe the pan clean and use a little bit of butter. Or you can use some of the black pudding juices, fat flavourings, and add even less butter. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this ghee because I've got it. But otherwise, just use a wee knob of butter. Ghee is just melted butter. For those of you that don't know, but ghee is. Also, a major ingredient in Indian cooking. So, scallops in. If you wanted to cut them in half, you could. So put in your biggest ones first. The scallops don't take very long. Two. Over them. Give them 30 seconds, 10 minutes, and we'll come back and we'll flip them over. I tell you, this video editing is great. You start with an empty glass and you got a full one. <laughs> Why, fuck you, Paul Daniels. Well, that's magic. Right, so we've had about 45 seconds on one side, and you get a nice colour. So yeah, we're going to flip all these over, you don't need to watch that. And once you flip them all over, turn the heat off. As simple as that. Out with your chilli and apple jelly. You don't need that. Ooh. My goodness me! Sack the chef! And just for aesthetics. Gonna cut the black pudding in half while we're waiting in anticipation of plating up. So, come in, you'll just see the scallops are still raw in the middle. So, we're just gonna let them cook on their own without a further. 30 seconds and we'll put a 
half a dessert spoon of chilli jam in and just give it a little stir, take it off the heat and then plate it up. And Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Actually Bob's my father. And I haven't got an auntie Fanny. Hmm. That's been 30 seconds. Now I've tasted this and it's got a little bit of a kick to it. So I'm going to put in I do that much because that's all I can get the spoon in. <laughs> but I'm just going to shake it about. Take it off the heat. Just melt that into the fat. You want your uh, scallops to be firm, plump and juicy, like a breast <coughs> of a chicken. So there we go, beautifully glazed, put to one side. I'm going to tidy myself up a bit on the work area. I'll come back and split up. Hmm. Right, so all ready to plate up. This is what a scallop should look like when it's cooked. Not just quite, you can see the line. You want to try it? Oh. Mm. Nice actually. Mm -hmm. So it seems we've got scallops, which is seafood. I've got a bit of a, a joke about the sea, the navy. So some of you may or may not know that the founder of the United States Navy was a Scotsman called John Paul Jones. He was a very brave, brave captain. Uh, so. The United States Navy were out patrolling the eastern seaboard of the United States as it was at the time. And uh, mate comes down from the crow's nest, Captain, 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 there's two enemy ships on the horizon. So Captain Jones, quick, get me my red shirt. Certainly Captain, so he put his red shirt on and they were ready and they engaged in battle and they won the battle. But two weeks later, mate comes down from the, the crow's nest. Captain, captain, there's ten enemy ships on the horizon. He's like, quick, get me my red shirt. Puts his red shirt on, they engage in battle, and they win the battle. So the mate said, Captain, that's bloody fantastic, that. He says, well, why the red shirt? He says, oh, it's that's simple. He says, if I get shot or stabbed, the men won't be able to see the blood because I'm wearing a red shirt and it should hopefully still inspire them to win on to victory. Oh, that's bloody clever, that. that's bloody clever. So a week goes by, mates up, comes down, Captain, Captain, says there's 20 enemy ships. Enemy? <laughs> there's 20 enemy ships on the horizon. Says, quick, fetch me my brown trousers. <laughs> Up. Quite simple, nothing too fancy. Oh, but oh, that looks fancy. It only looks fancy if you're Fay Brock or Peter Heed or Colts. What about Montrose? It's just beyond belief. Like, <laughs> so. In my dressing, clap your leaves on, make thick. Remembering this is crappy cooking, so it doesn't have to be pretty. If you're baking an apple butter and asparagus, a good mix. Clap it to a heat, 
if it looks like shite, well it doesn't matter. Because it comes out of shite anyway. Wouldn't it be crappy cooking if it looks good? Anyway, two simple salads. Mm. Of scallops, black pudding, pancetta. And just me a bit. Looks like you wiped your ass with that toilet oh. paper we used to get at school as kids. That Jay's hygiene stuff, it was like twice in paper. Mm -hmm. You'd wipe your arse, instead of cleaning your arse, you'd end up halfway up your back. You'd get into class and you'd have like a brown stain in the back of your shirt. Christ, what kind of school did you go to? Is that just me? Anyway, happy crappy cooking. Shit, naked. What did you think of that? Are you giving me the thumbs up? So, verdict on little deep sea scallops frozen. Very good. That was very nice, but I made it, so I don't want to be big headed. But actually, the scallops were really, really good. Probably better than those tubs you get of scallop meat. So, yeah. Happy crappy cooking, give it a bath.